Hello there, my name is Isros and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip and today we're going to be looking at how we can use the bevel modifier and the subdivision surface uh, in creating hard surfaces. So let's say we had an object, let's create an object that had uh, that has uh, strong edges or sharp edges and uh, round surfaces. So I'm going to use a, uh, a cube uh, with a, maybe a circle or a cylinder, we'll see, or maybe a sphere. So and uh, hold uh, this this spherical shape uh, with also the cube uh, hard edges. Uh, so let's see how we can do that. So I'll just clear the, the position of this uh, for a second. Uh, so uh, to do that, uh, the sphere we want or whatever we want, I'm just going to extrude uh, this a bit. Uh, and another tip here that I can give you is, uh, so if you wanted to change this into a circular shape, uh, what you can do is uh, uh, subdivide it First, subdivide it. I will just right click and then subdivide it like that. And uh, then hit F to convert it into an end goal. And uh, we have not lost the vertices we have subdivided. I just change from face mode to vertex mode and you will see the vertices we have. Uh, then you can hold down Shift Alt S and then 1. Press the shortcut Shift Alt S and then 1 uh, to convert this into a circle. But you see, we don't have a, enough resolution here. so. After you do that, after you make it in the first subdivision, uh, subdivide it again and uh, do the shortcut again, shift alt s and then hit 1 uh, to, go, uh, to convert it again more into a sub, uh, to give it more, more to, become, to make it more circular. Uh, you can repeat it to as many times as you want uh, to have uh, that, to, have, to just make it more perfect as you want. So, yeah, this is uh, the shape we're going for, but uh, you see we have a lot of end guns here. So I think we can add in a few loops here to kind of support uh, the shape. So I'll just connect this to this. Uh, so the one doing that is uh, I'm just selecting one edge and then the next, and uh, then hitting J to connect uh, those edges. I can also do this for this here, or maybe just connect this to this here. So I'm just trying to reduce uh, the end gun. So depending on the, on the shape you have, this may, this step may not be uh, necessary for you. And maybe I can reduce uh, the size of this just a bit, and then maybe extrude this. Can add in a few. Okay, so. I don't want to have this too complicated. So this is what we're going to use. Uh, we want to, make, to maintain this flat area, uh, this kind of curve area, and then these sharp edges when we add uh, the subdivision surface. So right now, if we add the subdivision surface, you can see how it looks. Let me add, uh, let me shade this other small object, and you can see how this is. Uh, so you can see it's rounding off all the edges we have. But uh, if I go in and add a bevel modifier, and uh, put it above uh, the subdivision. Let me first turn off the subdivision so that you can see what the bevel modifier is doing. So let me again shade this flat uh, so that we can see the facets or the, how the bevel is, add, is working here. You can see uh, the bevel is just adding extra edge loops on every, it's just adding an extra edge. So it's just making every single an edge into a double edge. So uh, depending on how many segments you have here. So if I increase the segments at three, you can see it's making this into what was a single edge. And uh, this can be better previewed in wireframe. You can see whichever edge, every edge uh, has been turned into three edges or four edges depending on how many segments I choose here. Uh, so let's just go with that two or three, two, yeah. So that we have that. And uh, now if we have add on the subdivision surface, you can see uh, the edges of the cube are well supported and uh, they remain intact. They're not being rounded off uh, by the subdivision surface because uh, the bevel modifier is adding two uh, supporting edge loops. Uh, it's basically the equivalent of just doing it manually and say this is a cube and you add a subdivision surface you can see let me change this to two I can see that uh, it's rounding off that 
uh, that uh, cube into a sphere because it, these different edges don't have supporting edges uh, like we have here. So if I selected this and use the bevel tool, uh, which is this here, to bevel that, you can see uh, if I increase the segments, it's also doing the same thing that uh, the bevel modifier is doing here, adding a support loop uh, there uh, to kind of make that sharp. And uh, if I did this on uh, every edge, so I'm using the shortcut Ctrl B, I would have the same effect uh, that the bevel modifier is having. Uh, the problem is, is that uh, the, the problem we're having here is that uh, uh, now the bevel modifier is adding this to every edge we have on the mesh. Uh, that means even these uh, curved areas of, uh, of the mesh, which is giving us these faces, uh, making them a bit sharp, uh, which is not what we want. Uh, so to remove that, there are two ways you can do that. Uh, you can either use bevel weights or choose a limit angle. So if you choose the limit angle, it will look, in, look at the mesh and see uh, where these edges meet. Uh, so this uh, this here is considered an angle. Uh, so and uh, if you look at look at it from the top, uh, it is it is creating a ninety degree angle here, which is above uh, the threshold we have here. So anything above this threshold uh, or this angle here is going to be given a bevel. So and uh, anything below that is going to, is not going to have a bevel. So let me see if I can show you uh, the angles of these different edges here. So. I think if you are in edit mode and uh, go under uh, uh, these uh, viewport overlays, I should see an option to turn on edge angle. And uh, if I select this, you can see this has a 90 degree angle. Uh, this also this has a 53. Uh, these have 19, uh, 27, which is all below uh, the threshold. threshold. So, so if, if I, I reduce, reduce uh, this threshold uh, to below 27, I will see that uh, this also gets a bevel. So let me reduce this to you can see now it has also got uh, the bevel and uh, since all these are below 27 they all they all get the bevel uh, but uh, this because it's a uh, sorry since this is above 27 uh, 26 is getting the bevel and uh, since this is not uh, it's not getting the bevel uh, but uh, we want to maintain uh, the curve around this so all these should be below uh, the threshold. So I can put this to about 50 and uh, only the edges that have an angle above that I will get uh, the bevel. So this is 36, which means it's above, it's below the threshold. And uh, so I think our threshold is a bit too high. So let's put it at, uh, sorry, too low. Yeah, too low, too high, sorry. So let's put it at 30 so that this can go, can also get uh, the bevel. And I can see now we have uh, what we want, a uh, very, very, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a hard surface, yeah, if you call it that. And uh, you can increase the segments here to make uh, this a bit more sharp and or reduce the width here to make this even sharper. And uh, the good thing about this is that uh, you can also come in here and make changes, let's say extrude this. I'm extruding in videos. I want to extrude along normals, and uh, anything that has a, that angle will have uh, the bevel, and anything below uh, will retain uh, the smooth uh, surface, or the bevel won't be applied. So that's one way to add uh, to limit uh, the bevel to your shape. Another way is uh, let me just duplicate this. Another way is to set bevel weights. So. Uh, so uh, let me remove this, add a bevel, uh, make sure the bevel is above uh, the subdivision surface and uh, let's add two segments. So the limit method uh, currently is set to none, uh, let me maybe reduce uh, the width a bit so that uh, it's more sharp, uh, the edges are more sharp. So. Uh, the other limit method we can use is using uh, bevel weights and uh, the way you set them is like, it's like setting seams uh, when you're UV unwrapping. Let me first turn off these angles, edge angles. So you can select uh, the edges you want and have, have a sharp angle. angle. So I'll select that, uh, this, this, and then hold down Ctrl E and then go to the edge settings 
or edge menu and then select bevel weight and it will give you the slider that you can uh, slide uh, to get uh, to add a bevel weight to the edges so I usually just type in one after hitting selecting that as to get a bevel weight of one and uh, that will give me uh, those sharp edges so if I wanted this edge to be sharp I'll also do the same uh, you can also find this setting uh, or this yeah this setting or option under edge uh, but you have to have you have to be in the edge mode our tools I think to see okay uh, you don't have to be but uh, yeah, so select the edge and then go to the edge here and then you find the same options under there so again do that you can see that edge has also been turned into a sharp edge so you can also do this select uh, different edges like that Control E uh, and you can see yeah that's how you can do it but you can see how tedious this is uh, compared, compared to, to this, this. Uh, this, this is just, just select the angle, angle and uh, uh, then I will just, just uh, select all the edges that uh, fall under that angle and uh, give them a bevel. Yes, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.